what made you come out and be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an artist? And that sounds like, like I feel like even saying that sounds like super. Like, so what made you want to be an artist? But like. Where it's like, I have been drawing my whole life. You were fully aware. Yeah, I remember you were drawing tattoos, and then even before that, you were drawing stuff. Yeah, well, I just even when I was a little kid, my mom, like before that, like, my mom would be like, Yeah, here's a piece of paper, draw. Like, don't, like, you go outside, but you can also just draw if you're bored, you know? Um, but I got into college, and then I was thinking, you know, like, when you get into college, you're like, What am I good at? Or, like, I don't know if that's really how people do it, but that's how I saw it. So I was like, What are you good at? Like, you'll do what, you'll, what you're good at, and then like, you'll make, try to make a career out of that or something like that, you know? And luckily, I wasn't good at accounting because I, I would just go right into accounting. You know, that's like a thing. But it'd also be weird for a five-year-old. Yeah. To be like good at well, accounting. But like, I know no, you mean. I know what you mean. Like I was good at. Uh, like the only thing I thought I was good at was art. So I went to school. I was like I'm good at art. Like I'll do that. And luckily, there's like a lot of facets of the art world that you can go into outside of that. You know, and it's not just like a direct line. There's a lot of things that can be had. You know, I could have been a preparator. I was a preparator, but I could have been like a curator. I could have been. I could have could have gone in all these realms of the art world. Like I went into picture framing. You know, woodworking like with your hands. Um, but I don't know, like making making things was important to me always, you know, like from when you're a kid you're making like a fort or you're like making up a game or, you know, like you're, uh, even like when you get like a fucking blow up pool or something like that, you like want to blow it up, you want to make that thing work, you know, like making things happen, making things work is like, I think, important. Um, so what? So then I guess what? What? Um, what does art mean to you now? And then, and you can answer. You can answer either of these or both of these, or whatever. But what does art mean to you now? And then also, what? What do you want to do in the next five years with your art practice? Uh, or you don't have to answer either. Uh, if you do your thing. Uh, art. I don't. Um, I guess I'll answer the first question with a statement of sorts, is that uh, I think the world is better when people make art. I think um, recently, like recently I, I've been thinking about how it's easier to say something about art that you like than something that you don't like. And a lot of people's initial reaction and critique is to be like, I don't like this. Or when you see a show, be like, this, I didn't like that. And I think it's a lot more challenging and maybe um, like more worthwhile to say something about what you like about a show and then think about what you didn't like. And you don't always have to vocalize, you know, it's not important. But um, what art means to me now is just that, uh, like, you know, I like when people are making art. I think art is important. I think that um, the end goal, I'm not going to hate on anybody and what they're doing as long as they're making art. Because art is, like, a good thing for the world, you know.